exploring out here in this ancient wilderness, place of beauty and history. Long ago, Native American Indians traveled through these places, inhabited and hunted all throughout these areas of the wilderness. Seeing lots of limestone here in the area. This would have been a valuable resource for the natives. They can items such as tools and weapons. Let's take a journey into the past. Roaming through these beautiful swamps. Now, there are many aspects to the history in this area. So many layers. And in fact, some time ago, across the river near where I'm exploring today, an ancient Native American Indian burial mound was discovered. And it's been estimated to date back to at least 900 AD. It's incredible. And there were indigenous people living in these areas long before that as well. Really nice trees out here. And there were much larger ones in this area at one time as well. During the logging era, unfortunately, many of them were cut down, taken out of here. As I roam through these woods today, I'm still seeing some of these nice oak trees still standing and growing. Cypress trees as well. And in more modern times, there was a railroad line that went through this area. And there was also a settlement here as well. And logging was a big industry in the area at the time. This would have been around the 1800s into the early 1900s. Look at this, a lot of citrus trees in the area. And these were planted here by some of the settlers in the area long ago. I thought I heard a sound back in here in the woods. It's a really light growling type sound. I thought it might have been a hog or something like that. I'm not sure. I can't hear it any longer, but I heard it a few times. It's really faint. I haven't seen anything though. There's a clearing here. Lots of wildlife in these places. Can you imagine how wild this place was long ago when the natives were living in these places. In more modern times, during the 1800s, the Seminole Indian Wars took place in many of these areas where I'm roaming today. There was a lot of activity here during that time. And in fact, one of the ancient sites was discovered during one of those wars. And it was also being used by the Seminole Indians as a village site. So these areas where I'm exploring these places of history have been used for various purposes over the generations. See a lot of these off trails in the area. They've been Old roads used at one time. The settlers were staying in these places. A lot of 
logging trams as well. Land of the Ancients. Just up ahead, you can see part of a Native American Indian mound. And at one time it was much larger. A lot of it's been eroded away over the centuries. Very interesting, seeing some sea biscuits here. Edge of the river, ancient fossils. Look at the pattern there. Here on the banks of the river, at the edge of this mound, and it's a shell midden. I'm seeing lots of discarded shells and even some pottery fragments here on the surface of this midden. It's an ancient place, and it's not as large as it once was. Seen a lot of shells here on this midden, and the natives here consumed a lot of shellfish. It was a large part of their diet. And over the centuries, they would discard shells, pottery fragments, and other debris, helping to form these mounds. And they would often gather in these places. You can see there's a lot of resources here. In the river it was right by this midden. Incredible. See many layers of shells here in this midden and even some pottery fragments here on the surface. Now as always I leave everything as I see it. It's just really neat to be sitting here in this place where natives once gathered. They would hunt in these areas and have feasts here on this midden. Ceremonies as well. And it's hard to say that there may have been a large village site all along this area. At different times of the year, the river rises and covers up a lot of this mound here. It's 
currently dry, so a lot of these areas are exposed, and you can see some of these traces from the past. 